She's a real woman with a real life. She's someone you can relate to. Dawn Newton. everyone to the Don Newton podcast. I'm your host, Don Newton. Today we're talking with Tillman Fertitta. He is the sole owner of Fertitta Entertainment, the restaurant giant Landry's, the Golden Nugget Casinos and Hotels, and the NBA's Houston Rockets. Tillman Fertitta says he's going to help today's business leaders break through to new levels of success with his groundbreaking No Holds Barred book, Shut Up and Listen. He says that this book was going to help you understand all that you do know, just as important as to what you don't know. But he says, you're going to have to shut up and listen. Or actually, you, <laughs> you're going to need to shut up and read because it's it's a book. Shut Up and Listen is the book. And the author is Tillman Fertitta. Great to talk with you. I love this work. I love uh, straightforward, let's be frank, conversation in your book, Shut Up and Listen. Hard business truths that will help you succeed. You didn't really need to write this book. Somebody really talked you into it. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Uh I had always thought about writing a life story book and telling stories and everything, but Harper Collins came to me about 18 months ago and said, hey, we watch your show on TV, CNBC, uh, we, we, we see all see you in all these business talk shows, and we read all these uh, articles about you, and, and, and uh, we love these, uh, we love these Tillmanisms and all these little things you say, and we want you to write a book that just talks about you know, how you did it and, and how these little ideas that you come up with to be successful. And I said, that's kind of interesting. I never thought about it that way. But so we did an outline, worked on it. And the last 18 months, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, if you've read the book, it's a very easy read, but there's lots of good stuff in it. And that's <laughs> why, you know, it's so popular today. Well, and just looking at your bio, I mean, the bullet points that they give me, CNBC's Billion Dollar Buyer, World's Richest Restaurateur, you are number 153 on the Forbes 400 list, owner of the NBA Houston Rockets, which caught a lot of attention around here, Landry's Restaurant Empire, and then old owner of Golden Nuggets Casino. I mean, how, yeah, how does that happen for somebody? In the Talking Points, it talks about turning a $6,000 loan into a billion dollar restaurant empire. Is this what you had envision for yourself when you first started? Well, let me just say this. I always envisioned that I would be successful and always had dreams. And even when I was, you know, young in my teens, I knew that I was given a gift by God that I understood business. Okay. Just like, and I understood that I could took guitar lessons for four years and I still couldn't play a chord. Okay. (laughs) So, you know, I always believe that God gives us different talents and you got to find out what that is. And, and, uh, so it's, it's, I, I just knew I understood business, I, and I knew I knew how to make money, and and I'm just a pure-born entrepreneur, and I'm, I've never been the smartest guy in the room. Uh, I was never that great of a student at all, but but I just had that knack for making money, and that's kind of what I've done, and I've done it in a lot of different businesses, from restaurants to hotels to casinos to basketball to aquariums to on and on and on, and and. Uh, it's it's it, it's just my gift, but I but I couldn't win an Oscar, I couldn't win a Grammy, I I'm sure not gonna you know win a Pulitzer Prize for anything. So, uh, but I know how to make money, and and that's what I talk about in this book. And I'm not a complicated guy, and this book is very simple about you know things that you need to do, and it goes back to my Tillmanisms is that we're all in the hospitality and service business, and the ninety five five rule, and there are no spare customers. Take the word no out of your damn vocabulary and, and, you know, on and on and on. Well, and you just said something too, when you said, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. And I think that's something that even I run into is feeling that you need to be, you need to know it all, have it all, have all of this experience and knowledge. And that's not necessarily the case. No, you don't have to be, but, but I, I knew, and this is once again, I talk about it in the book, know what you know and know what you don't know. And, and I was always smart enough to, if I didn't know something, to hire somebody that was very smart in that particular area that could answer to me. And, and uh, I think that's where a lot of people make mistakes. Uh, in in business is they don't they forget what they know and they don't know and and nobody knows it all and and uh, that's to, that's what it's all about in this book. 
And as long as you've been in business, Tillman, how has, we, we hear the word entrepreneur a lot. It seems to be kind of a buzzword. How has that changed or has it changed since you started to where it is today? Well, I think that there's more entrepreneurs because they feel like everybody wants to make their first million by the time they're 25, and <laughs> and it's it's and everybody's trying to come up with crazy ideas, and you know everybody thinks they're going to develop an app, and there's probably you know a million apps out there today, and there's probably another 10 million being done, but only a few are going to make it, and and uh, that that's why you you have to you have to 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 try to do it sometimes the hard way and not real quick. And I did it the hard way, you know, you know, sticks and bricks and slowly over a 35 year career and it didn't happen overnight. And, and, uh, I think it's better to slow down and try to make your first me and then your next 10 me and then your first hundred me. And before you start trying to be a billionaire at 25 and hospitality, tell about that. Cause it seems like that doesn't seem to be, seems to be lacking, a lot. Oh, it it is, and it just drives me crazy that everybody just wants to say no, and it, it's it's kind of like being at a restaurant and saying, "Hey, will you change out, you know, two shrimp for two oysters?" No, we can't do that. We don't do changes, or, you know, it goes back to you know being at a hotel and it's eleven o two. You're on the road. You got caught up on a business call, and you call down and say, "Hey, I'd like to order some breakfast," and and they say, "Well, we stopped serving breakfast at eleven o two, sir." I said, "Well, listen, I don't want an eggs Benedict, just." Uh, just throw me a couple of eggs in the in the skillet and scramble them and send them up. I'm fine with that. And they say, I'm sorry, sir, we don't serve breakfast. Well, you, what's the difference in what's the difference in throwing a you know a chicken breast or a hamburger patty in the grill that you're going to fix me? Why can't you just throw me a couple of eggs or sitting right there? Uh, we don't serve breakfast, sir. You know, it's just why say no when you can say yes? We were just talking about that yesterday, a coworker, about how it seemed like that seems to be the, they look for ways to say no with a big old smile lately. <laughs> well, it's it's free to be nice and take the word no out of your damn vocabulary. <laughs> and about getting out of our own way, because it seems like we always question our that self-confidence or that we're able or worthy or whatever that talk is that goes on in our head. Did you ever struggle with that? No, not really. I mean, you just make adjustments and do whatever you can do. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you need to just cut some of that fat, which might 100 be. 100% sure. How are the Rockets going to do this year, do you think? Well, you know, I don't want to have to play the Portland Trailblazers too often, but, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, I think we're going to do great. You know, we have one of the greatest shooters of all time in James Harden, and now we've got one of the the, the, the greatest transition player of all time in, in uh, Russell Westbrook. And I think that, uh, you know, we're going to be a better team, but I think everybody got better in the West. Portland's a better team. Utah's a better team. The Clippers are a better team. The Lakers are a better team. Denver's <laughs> a better team. So it's going to be a lot of fun this year in the Western Conference. And Tillman, any regrets or mistakes that you've made or what you would have done differently along this this journey of yours? Absolutely. I mean, I've had many failures along the way, but no major failures. But, uh, you know, sometimes you negotiated a deal too hard and uh, lost it, you know, uh, lots of mistakes, and I talk about that in the book. That uh, I've made a lot of mistakes, and you've got to, you know, you've got to overcome those and just keep plowing away. Well, the book is "Shut Up and Listen: Hard Business Truths That Will Help You Succeed." The author is Tillman Fertitta. Where can we find the book and learn more about uh, you? You know, the best thing to do is just order on Amazon or go to your bookstore. But Amazon will deliver it probably in 24 hours, and it, it's the number one Amazon business and self improvement book right now. It's doing extremely well, and uh, it's had great, great reviews and feedback. So it's a simple book. You can read in two and a half, three hours, but I don't care if you're a business person or just somebody starting a new job. You'll get a lot out of it. You'll learn how to separate yourself from everybody else. Well, Tillman, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for listening to the Don Newton podcast and uh, me, your host, Don Newton. I also want to thank Tillman Fertitta for joining me and talking about his new book, Shut Up and Listen. If you'd like to learn more about Tillman, you can visit his website at tillmanfertitta.com. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit my website, which is donnewton.org. The Don Newton podcast is written, produced, and hosted by Don Newton. Don't